Hello guys, Brad here with another fragrance review. Today I want to talk about Alorum Sport New Extreme from Chanel. And uh, the bottle here, kind of a smoky gray metallic thing. This is what the original bottle looks like, Alorum Sport. More of a silver kind of a color. So I'm going to be comparing these two side by side since I was actually able to get samples of both. Uh, my mom hooked me up here with these samples, so I'm very happy to finally get a chance not only to uh, get an authentic sample of Alorum Sport, but uh, also review the new Ook Stream as well. So this one is a Woody Aromatic. came out in 2012. Top notes of sage, mandarin orange, cypress, and mint. Middle notes of pepper, and in the base, musk, sandalwood, cedarwood, and tonka bean. Uh, base noters, 10 positives, 8 neutrals, 7 negatives. So not a real uh, overwhelming reception at base notes for this one. I can kind of see why the smell on this one, you're going to get sort of a dense um, minty orange with that tonka bean. And the tonka bean does not hesitate to come into the picture here. Um, if you've smelled Armani Code and Armani Code ripoff type fragrances, you know the story here. Pleasant, sensual, you know, enjoyable, but really not very unique at this point. Um... And I tried smelling the original Alorum Sport on the other arm, and I was actually surprised at how similar it was to Alorum Sport to Extreme because um, there's also talk of being in the original Sport, but with Sport, at least the other notes have some some breathing room, and it just has a much more balanced feel to it. I can see why some people might prefer to Extreme if they haven't had, you know, their overdose of Tonka Bean. In the past, but uh, unfortunately, I have you know pretty much had my share of Tonka bean since, and I'm ready to kind of move on. You know, the show must go on here. The Tonka bean wagon has gone through five, ten years ago. Time for something different. So for me, this one's sort of a pass. Not a bad scent. I would say if you're a collector and you want to own Ooh Extreme, by all means, not a bad fragrance. But if you already have like Armani Code and any number of other fruity tonka bean scents it's really not something that you will probably find to be an essential part of your collection so let's get into some scores here the smell six out of ten maybe five ten years ago i would have said eight and a half but i've just not so much tonka bean laden fragrances over the years i uh, take it down to a six projection longevity seven out of ten um it should give you three to five hours of decent Wearing at work, you know, a good work fragrance. Um, versatility, I give it 6 out of 10. I don't really see this one as a sporty fragrance. Uh, I tried to wear it to a couple Christmas parties recently. It was okay for that. Actually, you know, not real heavy, uh, extreme like you would expect for an extreme fragrance. So a little bit um, underwhelmed for like a date night type fragrance as well. But yeah, I'd probably say this is more of a work fragrance. So yeah, versatility, 6 out of 10. Uniqueness, 4 out of 10. It's not so many Tonka Bean fragrances that uh, this one it just is another number in the price point. Your typical Allure own price point of about $70, maybe $80 a bottle. No bargain there, 5 out of 10. Overall score, 5 out of 10. It was okay, but didn't thrill me, and it came up a little bit flat in terms of uh, uniqueness and ingenuity and from Chanel I would expect much more. So those are my thoughts. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.